quite a few people. Hello. 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 Uh, just gonna invite some people. Hi Sean. Hi Mum. Oh, they're already coming in. I might as well just leave it. Hi Tess. Hi Terry. Hopefully Gab's coming in. Hi Phil. <laughs> hey Mum. Oh, hey Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Damien. Hi, Dave. So we have six spiders of a nice little box of these, right? And a few little bits of copyright to point out while we're here. <laughs> We have six of these 12 tonight and the other six to be done on Wednesday. The, oh, the little flavors. <laughs> There's only one good thing is they come in, they did come in this nice box. Yeah, I've got one of them nice boxes too. Yeah. Have you got all your sweeties yet? No. I have. Oh. I got millions. I didn't get millions. Do them all now, you lightweight. What, all 12? Really? What cotton are you using? Organic. Yeah, I'm using that white stuff. So it ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose you could dry burn them. Yeah, it took me 47. <laughs> and bearing in mind, I did go to the dentist today, so I'm in a little bit of pain. Yeah, we'll do six tonight. Um, six on Wednesday. Then on Saturday, we've got some of their other new flavours. Their white label red. Amongst many others. So, to get started, uh, there's their billion, as I put it. The little copyright infringement would be the fact that it looks like the kiddie sweets, which everything to do with the TRPR and the PPD are trying to get away from advertising towards children. The little sweets guy. The same as the one on little chewy sweets. <laughs> and the last one I'm going to point out tonight would be the drumstick lolly. Again, it shows the actual lolly in it with the same brand labels. They could be caught out for a copyright infringement on them three. Right. So, that's over to you. We have billions. I was starting to. These are sample bottles, so I'll quickly go through the label. There's the little billion guy. Turn them around. Have you noticed the it's label doesn't awesome. actually fit? Yeah. There's the little soul juice guy there to say it's part of the soul juice range. Well, the new line. All the necessary warnings and address details and the company we're manufactured. And these are 10 mil samples. Okay. And nice to see a child lock. Back in. Back to your own room. So. I'm going to put millions on the ENT. I'm putting it on the broadside with a recoil rebel. Where's the, the million sweets? 
It doesn't smell like there's any sort of larder in there. Hey, Chantel. Hi, Chantel. That really does smell like you just cracked open a bag of sweets. Mm. So, Billions Reef, this e liquid tastes just like those classic chewy bubblegum million sweets. Every puff is a tongue tastic explosion of bubblegum. We put the bubblegum in millions, giving you billions. Okay. Yeah? I reckon these are a zero because there's no throat here. No, I can't remember. It does taste like sweet, yeah. So you put about five or six in your mouth and start chewing them. You even get that little sweet kick towards the end of the episode. Not an overpowering problem yet. It smells really strong. Yeah. To be fair, for me, it's really <laughs> muted. Say that again. It's, it, I'm finding it smells stronger than what it actually vapes. Yeah, it does smell a lot stronger. That would say probably give you more flavour on an RDA than if you got it in the tank, because most tanks mute the flavour a little. <clears throat> I don't know how I spoke that one. It's just bland. I couldn't say, I wouldn't say it's an all day vape for me though, because of the sweetness. I'm not getting much out of that, to be fair. The flavour needs to be stronger, I think. I quite enjoy it being the mild take. There's enough bubblegum that you can taste it without it being overpowering, but the sweetness gets to me after a little bit. So I don't reckon that's an all-day vape for me. See, it's nice enough that you'd have it as a now-and-then sort of vape. Um, next one, chew it. Okay, chew it. Again, nice cold lock. Hi, Mark. Hi, Denise. Out. That stupid ringle. Definitely smells like chewits, but then again, the millions smell like millions. Yeah. But then again, with the million sweets, you both get a lot of bubblegum flavour. This, you get a, I can smell the strawberry. Yeah, it's not a strong ripe strawberry. Mm -mm. But I've got to do this just to. All right. What are you using it on? I'm using it on the dot. On the dot mod. Is the switch working better yep. on it now? Yep. Whereas. Cool. I'm using it on the purge with the goon. 
The strawberry does smell really nice in this. Try that one again. Now that one's a lot better. It it tastes better, but it's still not as strong as you would. It no, smells. It's a mild taste. A lot of that's what I'm getting. It's just a mild strawberry rather than. That, I find that one more milder with the strawberry than um, the millions. Yeah. But I've got to say one thing, it does cloud up. Yeah, it's definitely a 70 30. Well, before we go any further, I'll actually read the description for strawberry. We got a bit carried away there. A vape that tastes just like the strawberry chew, it's this flavour is sweet and chewy with a candy base and a juicy mouth watering strawberry to top it all off. Well I'm getting the mouth watering strawberry but quite a mild tone of it. And I wouldn't say it's sweet like the chewy sweet. No, it's not as sweet. But then again there's no harshness but I think I've got a feeling that these are zeros. Yeah. So that's probably why we're not getting any harshness. Yeah, they're just really, really smooth. So it makes me think they're zeros. Because I'm not getting the nicotine. Right, number three I've got down is Fizzy Cola. Taking the inspiration from one of our favourite sweets, the Fizzy Cola Bowl, a carefully balanced of the classic cola flavour and fizz. This flavour will give you the nostalgic feeling that we are looking for. Okay. Little cola bottle on the side. And if you just look behind where it says fizzy cola, you can just about make out like little fizzy cola bottle sweets. I have to say one thing. You know that we that these say that they're 10 mil bottles, some of them are a bit yeah. short. <laughs> For sample bottles. <laughs> this really smells nice and strong. Yeah, I can smell it just as I'm putting it on the coils. I'm not going to. Like the Harry Bow sweets. Yeah. Harry I'm Harry not Bow going to like this. I haven't found a big cola that I could hands down say is an all day vape. I haven't found a fizzy cola that I actually liked. <laughs> yeah, that, that cola is uh, quite a strong smell. He's definitely got the cola bottle taste from the sweets, but I wouldn't say it's more the fizzies. I'd say it's more the normal little cola bottle sweets, you know, little cola bottle jelly. I'm just trying to compare it between Coca Cola and. <laughs> Alright, it reminds me of them cheap, a really cheap. Uh, Coke that you get from the supermarket where it's just going flat. Yep. That's yeah. why I said it reminds me of Coca Cola. Chewy bottles, not the fizzy one, because I'm not getting much fizz. Yeah. That's not. I get cola from it, but it's a. Uh... I'm getting cola, but I'm not, get I'm not getting the fizziness. Yeah, it's not as good. 
I would have thought if they would make a freezer cola, they actually put. A... Does this just taste like a generic fizzy cola? I don't know. I'm not getting no fizz from that, but that's where different tastes would come into it. Yeah. But do you know, obviously, it's not advertising for another company, but uh, the VIP one, mm. that fizzy cola, that's what that reminds me of. I've never tried that one, so... <laughs> Yeah. Right, number four, I've got down as drumstick, which, remember those chewy rectangle lollies? Well, what a classic. We have a fruity chew and a cream all in one. This flavour is a blend of raspberries and milkshake. And Kevin's showing off the bottle wide. Yeah. It's nice labelling, to be fair, but if it, it needs to, they need to do a label that actually fits a ten mil bottle properly. Uh, I think that is to do them in the larger bottles, so they just made up. Yeah. Because I couldn't actually find them listed on the website yet, not under their own their little section. They're meant to be in. <coughs> So these are definitely the samples to get, obviously, the taste and what people preference and if they need to change anything. Yeah. Add more strawberry to the chew it. Definitely a bit more strawberry to the chew it. I reckon the cola could do with a little bit more fizz. So I'm not getting much of the... The millions needs... To, the billions, sorry. Billions, not millions. <laughs> Got to get it right. Don't want a big dump for IP infringement. It smells like someone's warmed up a drumstick lolly when you heat it up a little. Or if it's been left out in the sun. Yeah, that sort of smell. It smells like a... Smells like a really, really cheap raspberry. It doesn't well, smell. None, like... have got a none. I can say this: none have got a weird aftertaste, like some I've tried in the past before. Yeah, but it's got a weird. This one, uh, it's got a weird smell. I don't think. They've quite got the drumstick down because I have had better drumsticks. The raspberry in this sort of overpowers the milky shake bit. It's quite a bitter raspberry. Let me have a few votes and I'll get back to you. I'm not getting the sweetness from like, the lolly either. It's quite muted in sweetness. Lick your lips. That's when you get the drumstick. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it sort of binds together on your lips. But that's the wrong raspberry. And drumsticks were never made with raspberry, they were made with strawberry. So. Sorry. And the, well, if you look at the, because yeah. if you look at the ras, if you look at the chewies from drumsticks, they do a few different ranges. They do a raspberry in that. Yeah, but if you look at the label, it it's red and yellow, so it should have been strawberries and the cream. If it was the purple one, it should have had purple on it. But, I'm just not getting that sweetness that you get from the lolly. No, it's not as sweet. It should. They need to add a bit more sweetener to it, I think. Yeah, the sweet will probably help bring out the cream a little bit. Yeah. Mm. 
So the next one we've got is Grime. And nice big raspberries break all around the label. And great and grime read great soda flavour. E juice that is simply fresh, fizzy and refreshing. If you like grape flavour, you'll love this one. It has a juicy grape base and to top it off, all of it is blended with fizz to give you the perfect grape soda e-liquid. Wonder what they're trying to be like. By the smell of it, I'd say Vimto. I was thinking that because in my box they put a Vimto sweet. Which I can't eat at the moment due to the fact that I've got. <laughs> All right, let's have a go at this. Hang on, I'm still juiced. <laughs> Yeah, I'll let you do so. I'm going to put the cap, cap on it. It's got cool lard in. What are you using there? Tesla. I'm using the Nano Steampunk Tesla with a dead rabbit. And I've got it at 70 watts. And I'm using the Dreamer, which needs a clean with the dead rabbit with a Challenger cap. <laughs> What a chance of that happening, eh? Now, I like that. It doesn't taste like Vimto. So. But I like that grape they've used. It's not bad for a grape. Right, right. No, it's quite a nice, sweet, but not over-sweetened grape. And I'm getting that nice little bit of fizz at the back of my throat as if I'd just taken a swig of grape soda. I get a weird aftertaste for this one, though. That'll be the grape. Yeah, probably because I don't like grape. I could actually say this is an all-day paper for me. I'm actually quite enjoying this one. I think that's more of a... For me, that will be an in-between vape for summer. Like, if I want to actually <laughs> pick, have a refresh, get refreshed and then mm. carry on vaping something else. It certainly wakes up your taste buds. So you, that fizz lasts around on the back of your tongue for a little while longer and there's great wears off. Yeah. The first thing I get is a sweet, juicy grape that hits my tongue and then the fizz comes in. But the cool, the cooling in that isn't that much. It's like a mold touch. Oh, that's just... It's not as strong as I would have thought it would be. It's, with all of these, I've noticed, they all smell stronger than what they taste. This one tastes the strongest, I think, so far. I like that one. I really do like that one. I wouldn't change that one. I wouldn't change grime. I think it's got the right amount of grape in there. It's got the right amount of sweetness without being too sweet. And I'm getting that fizz from it. Yeah. I actually like grime. That could quite easily be an all day vape for me. The last one we got tonight is going to shock some people. Um, I'd definitely say if you want the mild sort of grape soda, I'd put the grime in a tank and it would give you that nice, even soft blend of both. The millions, if you put it in a tank, you'll probably lose more of the bubblegum taste and you'll just get the sweetness. The chew it, I'd definitely recommend on an RDA, not in a tank, mainly because otherwise you will not taste the straw because it's quite a mild take on the strawberry. As far as cola bottle goes, I think it might do better in a tank. The drumsticks is quite a potent raspberry, but you don't get much on the milk. But different setups can give you different flames, and everyone's got 
different flavours, taste that they can pop on. So we can only tell you what we're getting from it. Yeah. Um, last one for tonight is going to be a surprise because it is called Camel, yet it's a tobacco. Little camel with a little vape in the corner of his mouth there. Sunglasses. And if you roll it round to the other side, just behind the print, you can see a little leaf. So, camel reef, if you can't... You can't go wrong with an original tobacco flavour. If you're looking for a plain and simple flavour, you found the most. With this modern tobacco flavour, a flavour among both real smokers and long time vapors. Now, I don't know about you, Kev, but I haven't vaped tobacco since I quit smoking. Yeah, pretty much. And the, the last time I did a tobacco, I think it was Simply Vape? No. Dr. Vape cigar ones. They, but they were flavoured. They were more flavoured than, to, you couldn't really taste yeah, the tobacco. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Much. That was the only tobacco we had recently. Yeah, true. My, but like a pure tobacco, the last pure tobacco was Simply Vape. Yeah, last year, Simply Vape, that one. May last year. Wow. Hashtag time flies. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I smell it as well. <laughs> it's like... I do not like the smell of this. Get a vape prepared to take over... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I'm trying to pinpoint that smell now. It sort of smells. How can I put it? You know when you've burnt toast? Oh, look at that. I saw the hashtag. Charcoal smell in the air. <laughs> and then you get all the dried leaves composting down. If you put them both together, it's sort of a mix of that. We're not going to enjoy this. No, I don't think so either. If the smell is anything to go by, no, I don't think I am. All right, ready? Three, two. I've got this on after what? I've got it on 65. I'll knock it up to 80. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> up to 80, yeah? There we go. Bang on 80 watts. Ready? Right. Three. Go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, I'll say this now if anyone likes tobacco vapes that'll be fine for you <laughs> I've still got the taste lingering in my mouth oh. if you like a strong tobacco or a camel That's cigarette if you used to smoke camel cigarettes You'll be fine. Hence, I was going to point out that that says camel, <laughs> which is IP infringement. But, no. Oh. No, that one's not nice. I don't, don't think, like that one. I don't feel I'll go back to that one. And you know, the only thing that's clear in the taste is my shamrock shake. <laughs> Mine's Death, on the shelf, sleeping. Death by bunny. Oh, yeah, but I've got the mint and the shamrock shake, which is overpowering that tobacco taste at the back of my throat. I've got strawberry and cream. <laughs> so, out of six, only one has made us heave. And the other <laughs> said, 
The others we said they could do with a little bit improvement. I prefer the grape how it is. I think grime is perfect. It's a lovely, refreshing grape soda. And I'm not one for grape sodas. The Chewits we both said needs a little bit more strawberry. Yeah. Because it's quite a mild one. I think the Bob, the millions, uh, the billions, sorry, would do well on an RDA. But the bubblegum is quite mild, so I reckon in a tank you'll lose more of that bubblegum taste. As far as the fizzy cola goes, it is lacking in the fizz for me. I get more fizz from the grime, from the grape soda. And the drumstick, i definitely say it should have been a strawberry more than a raspberry. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I wouldn't know if it smelled like camel dung, mum, because I'm not smelling it again. <laughs> and I've never smelt camel dung in the first place. Chrissy, how many uh, white labels have you got? One minute, I'll check my bag. My bag? Because we should have roughly the same amount. Let me... Ah, uh, three. Okay. Uh, it's, which one is it? Because uh, I've got... It's, it's the one with the bunny on it, theirs. Yeah. Yep, that one. Okay, let me have a look. And then one. Uh, that's not one of them, is it? If I can find them, why don't we quickly, if we can re wick in a matter of seconds, do the white label oh, today? Trust me, I'm really wicked. <laughs> I'm, get rid of that tobacco. I'm trying to find how many I've actually got of the white label. See, I've only got two of them. I've got three. I've got the Martins, Little Rabbit, yeah, which is strawberry sour. I have the SV Labs Heisenberg and the SV Labs Blackjack. Okay, yeah, that's why I've got two. I just thought about it because I gave you uh, my one. <laughs> All right, so I have custard donut and sour apple. Yeah, because I traded you the Heisenberg for the custard donut. Yeah. <laughs> Right, let me just torture my uh, coils. I don't want the tobacco they set on fire. Well, tobacco has always been combustible. My coils smell like a burnt fag end. <laughs> they smell a bit better now. Get the dry burn in a lot quicker. Need a fresh battery. Yeah, just bear with us, people. We're just too wicked to do the white labels that are also still new with Horizon Tech Vape Disco. The only reason I'm saying do these tonight is because I will be at work on Sunday, on Saturday. Okay. <laughs> Two, only one more. Just the top. Mm. 
Serve an off by you because it's nasty. I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't like it. It's not nice. Where did I put my own guy? There it is. Well, you get. No one's ready. Oh, good morning. Yep. I'm just cutting wick now. One. Two. Right. The only problem with organic is you've got to pull the stupid little bits off. Folks are using the white stuff. That change. What? It's a hat change. <laughs> Get in the old. Never have that problem. Hi, Sarah. Hey. Not a solid dome. That one off. Pull that one off. Is there a competition? How many of you? How many have you rewicked? How many? Two or one? So far? Two. Huh? Two. Two. Okay. I've still got a trim on that. Ah. <laughs> I've got a rewick and my best card. That's gonna take ages. Done. Yeah, but you was cheating. You was using the white stuff. That's easier. Still you don't want to sit around and pull up the bits. Still had to do as much. 
Oh, we've got to make it look tidy in the deck, have we? Yep. Oh, okay. Mine are all tidy in the deck. How's that one? And now Mum's telling me I've got to tidy my desk. I look okay? Yep. Right, the desk is sort of tidy. I won't show you because... Did you be lying? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll show you how bad it is. <laughs> No one wants to see my desk. It's tidy-ish. Well, right, I'm going to start with Martin. Right, now I need to go onto the site. Let's go. What one we got now? Martin, 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 Martin. Give me a second. Stop, right? Next. Next. Oh, no, 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 uh, well, I can't actually find the list of trying to find the flavour profiles. Yep, I can't actually find these on their website at the moment, so I think they're still in the process of updating. So let's quickly go through the bottle. You have your ingredients listed at the top, which on the sample labels is quite hard to read. A little bit blurry. You have the warning sim symbols all along the top. It's a Guardian vape, which is part of their subsidiary. There is other Guardian bottles on there, but in the larger form, which I do have actually wants to show you. There we go. See, that's the Guardian vapes, which is also on Horizon Tech. Let me see if I've got a card. I have a selection. I might have a card. <laughs> Um, not on that one. Yep, I've got a card. I've got a card. A card. Woohoo! So, which one have you got? The custard donut. What's your other one? Apple sour. Apple sour. Right. So, I'll let you start with the apple sour. Show off your bottle. This is the bottle. As you'll notice, <laughs> they've actually done something quite cool where they've actually colour-coded the bottle. Colour-coded? They've colour-coded. Okay. Apple sour. The apple flavour is crisp and sweet, what you would expect from any great apple flavouring. It has then been blended with a candy straw flavoured base with a sour undertone that sets the flavour to lick puckered sour okay so it's going to make you pucker your lips with sourness a flavour you know and love I wonder if it's going to remind me of uh, apple sours without the really? do you know uh, the apple sours without the alcohol mm.
I'm going to load if up. If we can spill the candy. While you try that, I'm just going to juice up. This strawberry one smells really strong. I definitely get the apple, but it's a sweet apple. I wouldn't say it was a green apple. I think it's more like a, a red apple. Mm. Most apple bites I've tried have gone for the green apple taste. Don't get our sourness. It smells sour, but it doesn't taste sour. Is it smooth? Yeah, very smooth. Uh, there's no throat hit, but that's because it's got no nicotine in it. Uh, yeah, I have six of nicotine in my SV labs either. Uh, you can get a candy. Definitely get a, can a sweet candy behind it. So it's more like a candy dapple. Mm. It's actually, this is actually quite nice. Okay. So I'm going to go on with a strawberry sour. Takes the classic strawberry candy straw taste and converts it into a generously in a sour coated to provide you with that sour hit you've been craving, a true e-liquid inspired from the childhood memories, which means it's probably a fizzy, soured straw. Definitely smell the strawberry off this. I like that. Just as you start getting the sweetness from the strawberry on the inhale. Yeah. You get that tiny, you get that little hit start creeping through with the sourness. Definitely tastes like the straws. Yeah, I'd say that you could fake this all day, Damien. It, it's not an... an a flavour that you get bored of. This is this is easily an all day mate. You get that nice, ripe, juicy strawberry taste, and just as your mouth starts watering, you get that sour kicking coming through. But without the sour being too much. Again, I'd say it's a 70-30 mix. I like that one. Yeah, I did notice that they didn't put the... Oh, they did on this one, actually. Yeah, on the larger bottles. They have actually got the PG-VG ratio on the bottle, but you can't really see it because of how small it is. Uh, these are a 70 30. Yeah. My eyesight's went, uh, yeah, <laughs> I was just trying to read that. <laughs> okay, custard donut. Funny enough. So, custard donut reads the dedication marriage of a rich fresh baked donut based with a hint of frosting the soft donut is injected with a generous filling of smooth flavoursome custard we'll see about that definitely you definitely get this donut smell I can say that for a fact because I used to bake donut Bates all the time. Uh, I win. Need to up the wattage oh. because it's got custard in it. Yep, 
You definitely get that bakery of a donut. You get the weakness and smoothness of a custard. It's... I find with some donuts, the donut part is more overpowering than the custard. With this one, it's quite well blended. Uh, you get the donut more on the inhale, and on the exhale, you get the custard. I would say that it, for anyone that likes donut vapes, they've got to grab themselves a bottle of this when it's released. I did taste that one at Expo, and I'm telling you now. It's the easiest way to explain it. It's like Devon Ambrosia custard blended with a soft donut, not an overbaked one. With a tiny touch of ice, so it's not over sweetened either. It really was nice, one. Well worth it. Right, I'm going to go onto the two SV labs, and as the picture shows on the front, the little man is exactly the same. They just change the colour of his bubble, and his bubbles behind him to represent his flavour. On these bottles, you will see your ingredients listed as vegetable glycerin at 70%, propylene glycol at 30%, and then flavorings. Warnings, symbols, recyclable, throw it away in the trash, alert, caution, keep out the reach of children and pets, harmful if swallowed, wash hands immediately, with and seek medical attention if feeling unwell, only to be used in e-cigarettes this product does not contain nicotine as sold and it's sv for smooth vapors goes on then to say the manufacturing of bottles by reggae art for smooth vapors and it's got their address in york road hartlepool and the link to get your smooth vapor is www.smoothvapors, that's with a Z, not an S, .co.uk. This is a 50ml short fill. And I have left it at a zero. And this one happens to be the Heisenberg. <laughs> so, Heisenberg, this e liquid is a top secret recipe. The only thing we can tell you is that the best of the best. This vape has a fruity undertone with a cool crystal kick. We've given it, we've taken your typical Heisenberg flavour and added a special touch. getting an acidy taste on the exhale, only a very mild one. Yeah. Tons of fruits pouring over the tongue on the inhale. <laughs> but yet, when you lick your lips, you get sort of a great taste, a mild grape. Is it just a taste of Heisenberg, which makes it a bit more refreshing, I find? Is that more refreshed palate sort of taste? I like that one. Right. The next one we have is Black Jack. Now, I used to eat 
pit loads of black ones. And these bottles are nearly crissy proof. Not quite, almost. <laughs> yeah, almost. That would hurt my hand. This fine flavour creates a little bit of black magic with its appealing combination of sweetness and aniseed. Like all the popular sweets, it keeps you coming back for more. And so delivers an all-day vape that you will always be glad to have in your, at your disposal. Well, I love aniseed anyway because I can vape red stair nine times out of ten all day long. It was my all-day vape for about pretty much a year. But I seem to have run out of register. So I only have a little bit left. Certainly smell the aniseed. But you got that sort of licorice smell in the air as well. Oh, the blackjack sweets. Spot on for bass six flatjacks. <laughs> the first thing that hits your tongue is that sweetness that you get normally from the sweet, followed by the licorice aniseed taste. As it warms up, it reminds you of you know the bass six, the bass six licorice all shorts. Yeah. The ones with the little beads on. That is exactly like them. Oh no, Dave. The old blackjacks. The ones that taste like the licorice basics, uh, licorice all sorts. That's definitely an all day vape for me. Not over sweetened. The aniseed sort of sticks around on your tongue a bit and the licorice sort of fades off. But when you're vaping it warm, it's like you've just got a few bits of licorice out of the bass. It's Yeah, the blue and pink ones. Yes, them ones with the little baubles on. <laughs> oh, that's heaven in a bottle, that is. <laughs> so I'm guessing you could vape that all day then. Yep. I'm going to re-wake and put white stuff in there, I think. Oh... That was really, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem I found when I was little is eating the sweet. It sort of used to make you go to the toilet. <laughs> Especially if you ate the whole box. <laughs> like I finally did. So we've got six more of the, these ones to do on Wednesday. Mm. And then, because I don't think I'm going to, I'll probably try these. I'm keeping the sweets. Uh, let's get, maybe, shall we give, I'm going to give my box away. 
if you want to, if you want to have, basically they've only had a few drops taken out of them, of, of juice. Uh, let's get a hashtag. Give me juice, going. If you want the whole selection, which involves the tobacco, the fizzy cola, the drumsticks, the grime, the chewits, the billions, the blues, the spearmint, the jazz. I'm reading these backwards. The neo, the swing, and Murray mints. Kevin is said tomorrow after review that bearing in mind they would have been opened and had a few drips taken out. These are all zeros. But if you want a giveaway, hashtag free juice. Yep, hashtag give me juice. So on Wednesday, we will be doing the last part of these, which is Blues, Memphis, Neo, Murray Mints, Swing and Tune, uh, Jazz, which Jazz is a tuned in rainbow, Swing is a tuned in black currant, and Neo is a tuned in cherry. Obviously, Murray Mints is a smooth caramel mint flavour. The Blues is Blue Raspberry Menthol. And the menthol is a spearmint flavour. And I think we should pick two. I will give one away up this end. They can either come and collect or cover the postage, obviously. Yeah. And I'll give away my Yep. Oh, we've got a few people saying it now. Well, it's only your mum, Damien, and Chelsea. And Chelsea. Damien. But we'll carry on this hashtag on Wednesday and we'll yep. get as many people involved on Wednesday. And then we'll figure out a question to ask and get an answer for it. And yeah, well, two questions. We'll need two questions, and you have a chance to win the full line of these, but they are zero nicotine. Yep, that's all the ten mil samples that we have tried tonight, which are billions. Do it, drumstick. Fizzy Cola, Camel, Grime, which is one of my favourites out of the lot we've tried tonight, and the six other flavours that we are yet to try on Wednesday. Uh, yep. Hashtag <laughs> <laughs> keep the camel. <laughs> I don't want the camel. <laughs> Everyone else can have that. <laughs> yeah, camel goes free. <laughs> so yeah, so they're gonna get a nice selection of juice in a in a box, <laughs> pretty much. Oh, Mum's already said Damien can have the camel, so I've got one missing out of the box. You get, so you're going to be getting 12 juices. This is going to be epic. <laughs> Look, all that, look at all that juice. <laughs> I'm even throwing the card for free. <laughs> yeah, but my box is going to look pretty. 
Why are you going to draw on it? You put some flowers. <laughs> well, mine's going to be secret, look. Because you never know. I might have, might just chuck in something. You never know. Or mystery. Damien's got the camel out of mine. But I've added in a secret in mine. Well. There is 12 10 mil bottles. And one is untouched. Whereas mine's going to have 12 bottles. Um, we'll see what else. Be a surprise. <laughs> I will have the camel. Everyone else can have the rest. <laughs> so yeah, on... Wednesday, we keep that hashtag going. Hashtag. Yeah, give... If you put a hashtag, if you if you watch this video from now till Wednesday, we're going to put up a post, and it will be a picture of the box. We won't show you what's in it because obviously anyone who's watched this feed will know what's contained in the box. Might be some extras in there. Minus the camel, because obviously they're going to Damien, because no one else wants the camel. I've, I've obviously got to leave the camel in my one. Yeah. So. All good fun. Right, so we'll see you back on Wednesday. Yeah. All good fun. All right. So. Oh, then we've got more people coming in now. <laughs> We finished. Right. It's yeah, over. we were all done then. Hashtag, give me juice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then all. We will see you back on Wednesday and we will tell you who gets the juice as well. All right. Bye. Bye.